Welcome again to City Scene TV. Today we have a special guest. With us we have Captain Andrew Hoffman, the commanding officer at the Naval Surface Warfare Center at the Naval Base Ventura County. And also a bit later, we're going to touch base on cold compliance issues in Camarillo. But first, let's welcome Captain Hoffman. Thank welcome. you. Thank you so much for having me here. Awesome. So let's first take a quick NBVC 101 class. Residents hear the names Port Wainimi, Port Magoo, St. Nicholas Island, and Naval Base VC. Um, please clarify how the different base operations are referenced. And just so we're clear, is it okay to say Naval Base VC? Yeah, th thanks for that question. And, and it absolutely can be a little confusing. Uh, we usually go by MBVC or Naval Base VC is perfect as well. So, like I said, it is a little confusing, but but I like to think of it as a, as like a mall. You know, in a COVID environment, let's let's remember back to February what a mall looks like. Mm -hmm. But uh, <laughs> the the mall is filled with many many stores, and typically in the four 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 ends is is an anchor store. We like to consider ourselves at, at uh, Naval Surface Warfare Center Port Wainimi Division as an anchor store, uh, one of the larger employees on, employers on the base. With that, though, the the relationship is is we're a tenant of of that mall, which represents Naval Naval Base Ventura County. That, and therefore, the landlord is providing you know power, security, electricity, and we even have a food court uh, with the subway. So for us, we just look to them for all those services, and and we serve as a tenant, making sure that, that we provide the Navy uh, the services that they need uh, as far as readiness. So the base is actually comprised of about 80 tenants, and as I mentioned, we're, we happen to be one of the largest. Well, and awesome. So I heard in June you took command of the Naval Surface Surface Warfare Center in Point Wainimi Division, which is located at the Port Wainimi side in BVC. Please give us a quick bio of yourself and also what brought you to Ventura County? Well, it, it's thrilling to, to join the team at Port Wainimi Division. Actually, I'm a, I'm a returning team member, uh, having served here about 10 years ago as well. Uh, so, uh, of course, I'm a naval officer, as you can see. Uh, I'm an, also an engineering duty officer. What, what that means is uh, we basically procure and, uh, and design all the systems that go on to Navy ships and submarines. With that, it, with my specialty, that leads to, leads to needing somebody with that acquisition experience in charge of a command that, that does research and development and fleet support, like Port Wainimi Division. Uh, that's how I landed here. Uh, hailing from uh, uh, mighty Mississippi and, and being educated in North Carolina long before uh, long before joining the Navy. Well, that sounds good. Awesome. So let's talk about the project that had a groundbreaking a few months back. Um, the Directed Engineer um, Energy Systems Integration Lab, let's abbreviate that and say diesel. Can you tell us what that project is all about? Yeah, absolutely, and, and I agree, diesel is much, much easier to, to roll off the tongue. Uh, we like our acronyms in the Navy. So diesel is just going to be a really cool facility. We, we started breaking ground back in May. Uh, we expect the construction to go on for a little more than a year. But, but as, at its essence, diesel is, is going to be the first sea-based range to, to land uh, and test directed energy systems. So one of our biggest challenges in the Navy is is to be able to is to be able to actually field the system and test the system before it gets to a ship. So this is a facility that does that. Uh, it's going to have space to roll in systems, plug it into what what would be representative on a ship, and then leverage with our partners at the Point Magoo Sea Range to test those systems uh, over water conditions. Well, awesome. I see you brought some photos. Um, can you tell us um, a little bit, just brief, about each one? Yeah, no, no problem. So this first photo is, is a team in our FathomWorks lab. FathomWorks is, is a collaboration space that, that we have here that's not just a, a Port Wainimi division space, but also uh, industry here in Ventura County. Yeah, another one of these. So, so FathomWorks is designed as, a, as kind of a think tank and, and early design where folks can get their, their hands, uh, hands on a project and come up with creative solutions that we can field to the, the fleet. 
Yeah, part of Fathomworks also is this really cool tank. Uh, you're gonna see a couple of pictures in a minute, but, but it gives us a chance to hy hydrodynamically test uh, what we're working on as well as be a cornerstone of our STEM program, which you see right here. Uh, in this case, the, the team is working on the Sea Perch, which is a, a project we're working on with the Boys and Girls Club of Port Wyneme and Oxnard. And it's an opportunity for kids from nine to 14 to work on, work on and design and then uh, actually build a project for a remote operated uh, vehicle that goes underwater and as you see here being tested in that tank. And this one's an uh, opportunity to circle back to talk about diesel one more time. This is the groundbreaking back for May. Uh, just uh, not much right there, but it's an exciting moment for the command. So it sounds like diesel is just one of the ways PH D collaborates with agency on and off the base. There was announcements a few weeks back about Ventura being selected as a Texbridge location at the Fairworks facility at the port. And can you, you just talked a little bit about that. Can you mention um, what the Texbridge is all about? Yeah, absolutely. So Techbridge started uh, you know, a little over a year ago where, where we had this idea at the, at the big Navy level that we were making things just too hard and we were relearning the same lesson over and over again. Uh, so the Tech Bridge has served as an opportunity to, to connect uh, what we would call non-conventional partners. So through academia, small business, startups, uh, and even big companies that, that may have issues or may have issues that they want to solve as well as partners like us that, that have problems to solve. So it gets everybody in a room and, and you can get the right expertise at the right time very quickly to work on hard problems. We just had our Tech Bridge awarded here in Ventura County with Fathomworks and, and our station uh, not long ago. And so we're, I believe we're at 12 total around the country. Uh, we're one of the mo six most recent ones that, that acts as a connector. And just a quick fun fact before we end, we want to let you know that the largest source of employment in Ventura County is through NBBC. Um, they brought a video, uh, Captain Hoffman brought a video that I want you guys to check out. And thank you once again for appearing on City Scene TV. Absolutely.